My name is Fatuani Mukeri. I'm a visual artist. I like to call myself a man of many talents. Right now, I've got a new journey that I had to revisit the talent I've always had, the fire that was burning in me, which is my art, which was my first love. I grew up in Soweto, Pinville, Zone 4, to be exact. Um, I grew up in a very humble home, so I never had a lot of toys. Uh, we used to play marbles, like with bricks, and all those things. So I find that growing up without like tech, a lot of technology around me helped me to be very creative. It kind of helped my imagination because um, I was creating things, you know, you make cars with wires, you'd like uh, build a, a little house with sand and you're like, yeah, this is my mansion. And you draw stuff on, 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 on papers, all that stuff. So it kind of fostered the artistic side of me. At first, I used to wish to have like a PlayStation at a very young age, but I feel like not having it helped me be very, very creative. So I think I was around seven years old when I discovered that I'm an artist, which is a very fortunate thing for a young person to know what they want to be. I saw my dad draw a portrait of myself and my twin brother, and from that day I knew that I was an artist. When I went back to school and we had like, uh, write or do like, write your name in an artistic way, I always felt like I knew how to do it better than all the other kids because I saw my dad doing it. Every time I look at a page or I look at a canvas, I'm like, ah, oh, I just want to see how it's going to look like. And that fulfills me more than anything. It, and it's quite therapeutic for me. So drawing for me is more than just maybe people buying it or getting the likes. It's more meditation. Uh, it heals my soul. I'm inspired by my upbringing. I'm inspired by my business partners and a lot of things that are happening in the world. I have a little bit of social commentary with uh, GBV, uh, BLM. As artists, we also have a voice to change. You know, the least I can do is put some work out there speaking about that and it can maybe influence and challenge my friends and open those kind of dialogues because gender-based violence is a very sensitive topic, but it's a, it's a topic we need to have. Uh, as men and as a community, we need to talk about such stuff. And uh, most of the stuff I, 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 I draw has something to do with my childhood, where I feel like I'm the man that I am because of the women around me. You know, my sister is a strong, amazing, sweet lady that believes in me, has always believed in me. My mother, she's like, you know, like a best friend that you, you don't know. I, it's weird to me because she's old. I, when I was growing up, I, I was a bit rebellious, but now we are very close. And when I look at it and I see how she molded me and the women around me have molded me. So my art is influenced by that. I always think of the things that give me power, you know, the things that uh, give me strength and uh, humble me when I create my work and my life is based in uh, South Africa or Africa. So that will automatically come out, you know. My work will speak Africa because it's what I know, it's who I am. I think Africans became woke. We all kind of realized that, no man, we need to tell our own story. We need to embrace ourselves, less of what the world needs us to be like and we must be more of ourselves. Uh, and that way, the confidence in us as Africans became stronger. The expression, uh, us expressing ourselves became much more visible to the world. And when you express yourself from a very honest place, everyone sees it and they feel it. That's why the world is looking into Africa right now. Because we have so much fire in us that it's so hard for people to overlook it. And at the moment and at this time, Africans are really not chest beating in an arrogant way, but they are going, we are Africans, and this is who we are. We are embracing us. 
Uh, it's cool to know where you're from, what's your clan name, climbing your t family tree. I feel like it's becoming a cool thing to us Africans to really find ourselves and express who we are.